um, lopsided roofs. I mean, chimney. Hi. Um, Iyasaki da Kini Haita. Good guess. It's the Ita because this is the idiom. Kini Ita. You're not entering key into. You're not entering Hi, into key. Ah, the key is there. Ah, uh, Kini Ita. Um, uh, he say uh, it, it's a good mansion and that uh, he likes it. Hi. Nebari mo. Kono yashiki ni yusha ga ari aru rashiku. You check it. I'm sorry, I check it. He's. You, you, you check it? I, I check it. I check it. Um, he said that nobody also is uh in love or maybe like a fan of Hi. uh aru it, it is and rashiku is he thinks so yes um uh, nobody also Kuchimo. loves this mansion i think Hi. kuchimoto o yuru mete iru he he mumbles something Mm, good guess. That's Utsumu. Uh, Yurumeru um, is to loosen. Uh, he gave off a smile, a faint Hi. smile. Uh, ma, um, Honin wa Sunao Nimi to Menai Daroga. Sunao ni Honjin wa Sunao ni. Hi, Honjin. Sunao is meekly. So he himself. Hi. Hi. Meekly. Mitome nai. Did not see. Mitome. Uh, mitomeru is to recognize, as in to acknowledge something. So he did not recognize. Daroga. He did not acknowledge that he smiled. I'm guessing that's what it say. So, Daroga. Um, Daroga. What does that mean? Khan is guessing to himself. Yes, probably. Daro. Hey. Daro means probably. I... Especially Daro. if there is a period Ga, after it. Daro, period. Probably. Ga is the however. Um, you're right. Um, so. So he will not recognize something. The thing that he will not recognize is not mentioned in this specific sentence. It's possible that he would not recognize his smile. That's correct. But the point of the previous sentence wasn't that nobody was smiling. The point is that nobody loves this mansion. And that the fact that nobody has a slight smile on his face, his, his mouth has loosened. That is how the main character made the assumption that nobody likes the mansion. So it seems like nobody likes a mansion. He's smiling a bit. Well, the person himself wouldn't actually admit that, though. So contextually, in English as well, we'd be assuming it's about the loving of the mansion rather than the smiling, because that's like the point of the previous sentence, like the. Um, so that that's what would be shared. It could be the smile, but it it just would be a bit of a leap, I would say. Hi. Kata. Uh, Beneto wa muhiyo jo da. Uh, Benet, however, uh, uh, he is expressionless. Yes, Bennett is expressionless. 
this ga right here, as you can see, there's a period after it. If this was, um, if they wanted to have the ga connect to the other sentence, you'd have a comma here and the period up there, that old period. Ga. Benetto wa mu hyojo da. That's how you would say. However, Bennett was expressionless. But here, the ga is connected with the daro. It is showing Khan, Khan how Khan's talking. Um, so the first sentence here was, is that Nevery, Nevery, his, he loves his mansion, I think, because he's smiling a little bit. Well, he probably wouldn't admit this, though. That though I added to the English sentence, that is the ga, that is the however. So the contradiction is that nobody is smiling because he loves the house, but he won't admit it that he loves the house. He's a grumpy old man. Um, and then the next part is this, Vinette uh, is expressionless because the topic of the sentence, this paragraph is people's like opinions, I guess, on the mansion or the facial expressions anyway. Yashiki no mai ni wa Ishi tadami no ni wa ga ata. There is a um not a garden per se, but a um courtyard. Courtyard. Right. Um, there's a courtyard of paved stone in front of the mansions. Right. Ishi no sukima kara ibaraya wakai kigi ga achikochi ni nobite iru so what is nobite iru here nobi meaning do is to stretch climbing noboru is to climb iru stretch nobiru stretch so nobite iru they stretching here and there, the trees or the bushes. What kind of trees? That are yeah, uh, the young, the young rose bush. Um, that is kimakata, sukimakara. It it. Emerges from the cracked rocks, right? Isn't Hi, that what yep. it's saying? Literally, it's or... stretching from the, the gaps in the rocks, but that is to emerge would be the better uh, English definition. So, to grow. Right. So, Sukima is the. Sukima is a crack. Right. It is a crack or a gap. Sukima cut off from the crack. Right. So what's growing from the crack? The the crack. Young. Um, kigi is I'm guessing like trees, right? But yes. not quite trees, but it's trees. Um, um, young trees uh, and roses. Right. The reason why you might use say, kigi rather than just key is that kigi insinuates there's different types of trees here so they're not all like oak trees or something there might be some evergreen or whatever that's the kigi so theoretically it's different types of trees that are young are growing here and then rose bushes um is anything else growing here other than rose bushes and young trees mm. Um, 
Yes, there are. Yes, we don't know what they are, but it is marked by yeah. Who knows? Could be weeds. Who who knows what else is growing? But what the main character can identify are young trees and some rose bushes, wild rose bushes, thickets. Hi, Niwa no, oh. あ、中央。中央にはあ、黒い枝の大きい。はい、僕。はい。はい、はい、僕。が1本そびえていた So one counter of the large tree So right. one tree one large tree right. it そびえていた So what is that? It's that is to tower Ita is Ita is iku No but Ita Tough one is iku with a glottal stop. Iku to go becomes itta or itte. Iru to exist becomes itta because iru from imas is a do verb. Iru. So it just was eating. Here Iru is used because the the subject is a living it's a living being, right, Mani? I suppose you could say that. However, trees do take aru as their existence verb. I am kind of confused why you're confused by Ita, considering you've done Ita Iru about twelve thousand five hundred and fifty six times. Um Hi. In, in your Japanese life, such as the previous sentence, the sentence right here earlier, um, it is super duper common. It is ing. It is currently occurring form. So you use it when you want to say something is happening right at this moment. It's in ta form, past tense form, because the Japanese tenses are very weird and are different than the tenses in English for writing books. So in English, if you're reading a book, all tenses need to be in past tense. You can't have present tense in the book. But in um, a Japanese book, you will have present tense sprinkled in within your book with past tense. The difference is that present tense is normally more active things with past tense being less active but it is still hard since for example we got nobiteiru which is stretching then we have sobiteita which was was <laughs> soaring so it is a little bit um hard to guess um as an english speaker when we're going to do past tense versus when we're going to do um normal tense um current tense but no matter what it's always ing it is a currently occurring event that either is currently occurring right now or currently occurring in the past. Um, so here it is currently okay. occurring in the past, which is right now, but in the past of the story. So the large tree was sobiteiruing, which is towering. So a large tree, there's only one of them, is towering. It's super tall, in other words. It's a tall, large I tree. Yeah, that. Ah, uh, if they had just say ibete, i so biete without the ita, it would mean something else. It would mean the tree is doing the action. Not sure what you're talking about. Do you mean so be it do? So be it do? Is that what you're asking for? Uh, the uh. very last. Uh, period money so yeah suppose we were to remove the ita yes now what's left of this what left over would be so be it that yes that makes now, it into an order 
It is tree grow. Tower over people, tree. I'm telling you, tower. Hi. Pet form period is um an order. If you wanted to change this te right here into ta, sobieta, that means the tree towered in the past, but is right now no longer towering. But it did at some point in its life. The tree had towered, but now it's wilted or something. But now it had fallen over. That'd be past tense. Um, versus it is, it was towering versus it towered. Um, so depending on the context, you could flip between the two in English as well. And if it was just do, so be it do, that is future or habitual tense. As in, the tree will tower at some point, probably in the near future, but right now it's a baby tree. Or the tree towers on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but for whatever reason, it shrinks a little bit on Friday. Would be the... Would be the other possible interpretation. So, so we say you do, or so we say da, are the version that would make most logical sense to be used, which is just the tree is towering. It's towering over us as we're walking into the garden. It towers over all the plants in the garden. It's towering right now. Um, other than this being the only big tree, probably in the courtyard, in the center of the courtyard. What else do we know about this tree? Uh, it it's located in the middle of the garden. Right. There's only one of them, and we, so we pronounce it as Taiboku. Taiboku. No, I mean the in the middle of the garden. Uh, chuo. What was it? Chuo. Chuo. Hi. So it's kuroi eda no. It has black branches. Yes, it has black branches. Perfect. Uh, yoku miru to. When I look closely... Kuroku mieta no wa. The thing that I saw, which was black. Right. Yaba no dai wo wari ni. Hi. You're correct that this is read uh, as dai. Yeah. Um, this, how do you read this one, Kanji? Ha, ha. Ha. Ha no dai wa. So you're correct that this kanji in is read as dai. Dai as in cost of something. However, when dai turns and has the hiragana character as wadi after it, it actually is pronounced differently. It's pronounced as ka. Kawadi. Kawadi. Hi. So it's kawadi ni. Yeah. In place of leaves. Hi. Makuro na tori ga blackbirds bishiri no bishiri to tomate iru. So here we have iru and not yep. ita. You're correct. We are yeah. now talking in the present continuous. Well, the past tense is over here at data. You're only supposed to have past tense once per sentence. Per, um, I guess, clause. Um, it would depend on certain clause connectors can take past tense. But in general, the only time you're going to see past tense in Japanese is at the end of the sentence or at the end of relative clauses. So this right here, we got mukatte, but the sentence is in past tense. So this is actually mukatta. It was nobody did mukatta, and he also did aruku. There, it's all past tense because it's the same sentence. But the one at the end of the sentence is what tells us. English is different. We do have to match ed to all of our verbs when we use in the sentence. So that is um, an interesting tidbit to note. So. Tomate to 
to gather. Good guess. To tomaru, tomaru is to stop. To bunch up was bishiri. Bishiri to tomatte iru. Bishiri to. So they stop or they perch. They perch. They landed. Correct. Or they situate. In a bunched up way. Hi, they're all crammed so together. Bunched together. Hi. Do you know why there's a kata here? And we wouldn't use kata really in English here, but do you know why it's here? So kata after a ru verb. Hi. Is that kata means. Um, From, from, no, from, from that action. From occurs after um nouns, but I do think last time I told you I told you that there was a um kara niwa, is what you saw um yesterday kara niwa. I told you it meant after that because it means um now that. But karaniwa goes after the verb and verb form. So that's probably where that confusion suddenly popped up. Theoretically, it's because of that, we're now using that as a basis for the next sentence. Um, but it sounds weird to say that. So I just said from that, because that sounds like now that as um, a logical conclusion. But kata after verbs means because. Specifically, kata after sentences. It's not actually after a verb, it's after a sentence. Um, that's why if you have te form plus kata, that means from, because te form is not the end of the sentence. The end of the sentence or clause things are um, u verbs and stuff. So it says because. Why do you think there's a because in the sentence? Because the birds are all cramped together, perching. Uh, the reason there is a kata for because is it's explaining the uh the daiwari ni ni right the exchange of the leaves for the replacement for the of the leaves. It is it's showing um basically there's something that should have kind of confused somebody when they originally read the sentence. Which is that for some reason this tree has black branches. And then it goes, oh, the reason why it has black branches is that when I look closer, you can see that there's a bunch of black birds perching on those branches. So rather than having leaves on the branches, it has birds. So that's why it was black. So it's basically the reason why it was black is why that kata is in there. Um, so. Um, if this said ha no dai, what would that mean? Ha no dai. Hi. That would mean that the Hi. Yes. The cost of leaves is ha I'm no hesitate dai. to say. No, it oh, is the cost of the leaves. Cost. Okay. It 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 you wouldn't you normally leaves are free, so <laughs> you wouldn't have to pay nothing but that's what that would mean hanodai. so kawari changes the meaning quite a bit to an exchange of leaves but a dai is insinuating you're making an exchange you're exchanging money normally for a leaf hanodai. but here we're changing it from money into birds there are birds perched on the tree instead of leaves <laughs> You remind me of a Zen, uh, a Zen story once. <laughs> it has to do with exchanging for leaves. Oh, um, the 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 kid, the kid was the story was the kid was asking his father for gold, oh. and when he put out his hand and he closed his fist, uh, the little boy opened it, and. It's gold, but it's like autumn leaves, you know, the leaves that fallen onto the ground. Oh. And it's golden leaves 
autumn leaves, but the father say, here, go, go leaves. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Hano <laughs> die. <laughs> Sorry, it's it it it's tangent, but it reminds me. <laughs> okay, uh, so Hori Tajiwa the bird. Hi. Aza Yakana Kiro no me de the eyes are of a gold color. Azakana. I think you told me this was like of a rich color. Yes. Right? Of an intense. Right. Of an intense yellow. Oretachi o mitsume. They mitsume at us. Did they use anything that meets at us? Like, did they so, use glass or binoculars? Oh, with their with their intense gold eyes. Hi, hi, hi. They meet some. But this meets me is not me. It's me and then sume. Sume? Meets No, sume. Hi. Meaning right. they stares, right? They attach yes, they gaze. the gaze. Right. They fix their eye target. Um Nani Kao Mate Iru Mitai ni. So Mitai ni here is that that analogy is here, that simile. It's a looking as if how do they stare they stare in a way that's similar to waiting for something right otomo tatte zuni tatte zuni So chito is a straight, straight action. Yeah, it uh, means you're free. A direct... You don't move. A chito, it's a, it's a fixed action. Right. Hey, it is. It continues. Of shiteru. He's yeah. doing it. It, it doing the action. Continuous. They're doing it right now. Um, otomo, otomo tatezu is without. Zu is the without. Right. Without sound. Perfect. Ni describe the action. So. Right. You don't need the knee here. Nobody got the meaning does not change if you t if you drop the knee. It just feels a little bit more casual. Uh, nebari ga nebore kata wa kata gawa no tatte mono ni mukatte. He turns towards or he headed, he Hi. head for one. Of the building. Niwa o aruki dashita. Dashita here meaning from dasu to begin an action Hi. in the past. So he started Hi. to walk through Perfect. the courtyard. Nice. And do you know why it's aruki dasu rather than aruki hajimeru? Do 
These are uh, both is um, two because stars. He interrupted his walking prior. Right, perfect. And now he was doing that the same action. Nice, good memory. Okay, that's where we're going to stop for now. So I'll see you in well, five seconds. At least I got one thing right. Well, I feel like I only mentioned that to you like once. And that was like a random off, like, just so you know, this is why that's there rather than like a real grammar point. So that's a cool one to remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two 